Hi guys, Steph here. Right, what have we got for you today? Well, I'll tell you what we've got for you today. A gorgeous, gorgeous pen. Some of you will remember seeing the pen here. There you go. Look at that. What a lovely pen. As always, a little bit tired. Just a bit discoloured here and there. Just needs a bit of TLC. And after that TLC, look at this stunner. Absolutely gorgeous. What a lovely pen. Now, this is a pen that, well, unfortunately, I don't know a great deal about. Okay, let's first of all show you the barrel imprint. Nice and clear, look at that. What we've got is a Ingersoll and then underneath made made in England. So nice and simple. We've got an Ingersoll fountain pen. The size of the pen is a lovely 130 millimeters capped around the barrel. It's just a tad over 12 millimeters in diameter so as you can see it's a lovely sized fountain pen and as you can see it comes in this lovely i would say it's a bronze and black marbling color if we take it up to the cap you'll notice it's got two cap bands to the bottom there okay you can see the clip there has got the word Ingersoll running down the clip. And as you can see, it's a sort of typical ball clip of the period. And the period, I don't know, I'm going to date the pen. I don't know what, maybe 1930s, 1940s. And as you can see, the clip's slightly different. It's got a quite a long sort of cap to the top of the, to the cap there or finial if you like so a little bit unusual and last but not least you can see by the blind cap there it's what we term as a button filled fountain pen okay so it's a button filled pen let's screw that back on so as i say the ingersoll pen now, I am, I've, I've read somewhere that the sort of founder of a company called the Dollar Pen Company around about 1924 was Charles H. Ingersoll. Now, is this from the Dollar Pen Company? Hmm, I'm not particularly too sure. I know Ingersoll were, there was another company, I believe they called it, is it Ready Point Company? Is this a Ready Point? I'm not too sure. Personally, my belief is that because it says made in England, I believe this pen was made for Ingersoll by one of the pen manufacturing companies of the period. As we've said in numerous other videos and other pens, um, you know, a lot of the major manufacturers made pens for other companies, made pens for you know, retail stores, etc. So it may be, I've read somewhere, it may be a Burnham made fountain pen. And also I've read that it may be a Wyvern made fountain pen. So was it a Wyvern made fountain pen for Ingersoll here in, in England? Again, I'm not too sure. As I say, I'm, I don't know a lot about this particular company, but what I do know is what a gorgeous quality made fountain pen. This is as good, if not better, than a lot of the major manufacturers of the period. It's a stunning quality made fountain pen. So if anybody else knows a little bit more than I do regarding sort of Ingersoll made in England, 
don't be shy leave a comment you know we all like to learn you know we all learn something new every day so if you know a little bit more get in touch now let's unscrew the cap show you the pen numerous different angles as always as i say an absolutely stunning pen in fact it's so nice this is another one that i'm considering whether to find a new home for it or whether to keep it in my own collection again i'm not sure yet but yeah we'll have to have a think on it there's the section there you can see quite a standard section slightly concaved so makes it lovely and comfortable to hold in black and then if we go up to the nib there you can see it has a Ingersoll 14 karat solid gold nib so this is where maybe I think it may be a wyvern made pen because well did Ingersoll make their own nibs I'm not too sure I am aware that sort of the likes of wyvern made made their own in-house nibs so it could be you know again a wyvern made pen for Ingersoll um, and again the Ingersoll name I mean a lot of you you know will know the Ingersoll watches pocket watches they were you know make that made yeah you know they made pocket watches so you know i think they, they had their hands into everything <laughs> okay there's a sideways view there's the feed quite a normal sort of if you like standard feed of that particular period but once again a lovely quality made fountain pen i'm very surprised that's it as i say i've never heard well i've heard of Ing ingersoll but i didn't know they were involved with pens but just a gorgeous quality made pen so what i'm going to do because i've actually fully restored it and put a new sack in the pen i don't want to fill it because if i do decide to find a new home for it i'm going to leave that pleasure to the new owners but yeah some of you want to know how to fill it you would dip the nib and a little bit of the section into the ink and just simply press down a couple of times on the button to fill to fill the pen but what we're going to do, I'm just going to do a writing sample by dipping the nib in the ink. Let's just see how it writes. Just got a little bit of blob on the section there. There we go. So what we've got is a a Ingersoll. made made in england and again i'm saying around about the 1930s maybe 1940s who knows it it may be even earlier writing very nicely indeed does it have any flex to it um just a tiny wee bit There we go. A lovely writer. So yeah, with a little bit of downward pressure, we're getting a little bit of variation in the line. So a little bit of flex in the nib. So very nice, very nice indeed. What we'll do, we'll clean that after the video and decide do we find a new home for this gorgeous pen? Do I keep it in my collection? <laughs> undecided at the moment. I'm undecided. But 
again repeat to myself a gorgeous quality handsome fountain pen and as i said as good if not better than some of the major manufacturers of that period i hope you've enjoyed looking at this lovely pen as much as i enjoy showing them to you people don't forget leave a comment down below just below there give the video a thumbs up if you will don't forget to subscribe as well but for now i'm just going to say slavo kriini from me and this lovely handsome fountain pen i'm just going to say bye bye for now <laughs>